Hi everyone, I'm Shubhra. I'm an aromatherapist and the co-founder at Meraki Essentials. Welcome for another episode where we're trying to simplify the use of essential oils for our customers and for people across the world. Uh, today we're going to talk about how inhaling essential oils works. We hear a lot about how essential oils help with stress or they help you focus, but how does that actually work? I'm sure you're all curious, so I've put together a lot of information and I hope one of these things is able to set the tone for you. Um, so let's start with something fairly simple, okay? Let's think about your favorite food, okay? Let's think about something that a loved one cooks for you. It could be your mom, it could be your girlfriend, it could be your granny. Now, how do you feel when you smell that food? That probably brings back memories, feelings and stuff like that. So which means your subconscious mind at any given point of time is recording every smell around you. Isn't that freaking amazing? Yeah. So although that's amazing, there's also another part to it that it's not necessary that everybody likes every smell because certain smells may even trigger bad memories for people. So it's very, very important when you're thinking of starting your essential oil journey that you take some time um, to realize which smells really, really work for you. Now, there's another interesting aspect of this. Now, if we had to think about, this is just an example, um, the few smells that all of us across the world have probably smelled from a very young age. So that's probably smells like cinnamon, smells like ginger, orange. So on a day that you're feeling kind of low or you're worried about being unsettled or about money issues, it's a great idea to diffuse oils like cinnamon, orange, clove, ginger, because they take you back to your childhood when it was probably the first time that you had an interaction with those aromas. If you were from the spiritual realm, you could also say when your root chakra is imbalanced, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's super interesting, I think. Now let's talk about the second aspect, which I think is really interesting. Um, so in 1982, Japan launched this health program, which is called Shinrin Yoku, which pretty much translates into spending more time with trees. So they found out through research that spending time with trees is really helpful not only to, your, to their mental health but also to the physical health because trees and plants emit a lot of these oils that are really, really good for us. So now that it's actually a health program somewhere, maybe, just maybe you're kind of convinced, okay? So now I'm going to talk to you about the limbic system. Now what's the limbic system? So the minute we inhale the odor molecules from essential oils, they get in touch with our olfactory membrane. And the minute the olfactory membrane is able to recognize the smell, it almost instantly gets in touch with the limbic system and the cerebral cortex. Now the limbic system is also known as the emotional brain. So obviously it takes care of emotions, it takes care of memories, it takes care of bodily functions like blood pressure, like breathing patterns, like your fear response. It even takes care of stress and hormone secretion. So now your nervous system functions in two different ways, okay? One is the stress response, which is known as the fight or flight, and one is the relaxed state. Now when you're in the relaxed state, your body releases all the hormones that are required for it to heal naturally, for your bodily functions to go on like they should. Um, but while the minute you step into your fight or flight response, uh, your body starts releasing these other hormones like cortisol or adrenaline. Um, and when this happens, a normal hormone cycle gets disrupted. Unfortunately, our body does not know the difference between being chased by a tiger or being yelled at by our boss. So every time that happens, our normal hormone cycle gets disrupted. So yeah, that happens a lot and uh, it is said as per research that in, um, in current days we have as many as 50 stress responses a day and this study was, uh, had taken place in the States. So if you were to think about India with all the honking and all the craziness, you could probably multiply that with 10. Um, so a lot of essential oils have great sedative, antidepressant, hypotensive and uplifting properties. So depending on which aroma works for you, it can these essential oils can really, really help soothe the nervous system 
will help bring your hormone cycle back to normal yeah so now we're going to talk about the cerebral cortex so the um uh sorry <laughs> i just got lost there for a second so the olfactory membrane is the first of all the senses to get in touch with the cerebral cortex now what does the cerebral cortex manage it manages cognition it manages regulation it manages intellectual function motor functions um so there are a number of essential oils that are really really good for cognition and they're really good uh, as stimulants so you could use them to enhance your performance it, a lot of moms for example diffuse rosemary around the kids that are studying or on a day where i'm feeling kind of out of focus and that could be around um evenings when i'm kind of starting to get off work and i still have a lot to do i apply some peppermint and that wakes me up and makes sure that i get all of my work done okay another way uh, oh, another thing that's really great when you're inhaling essential oils is in the form of steam inhalation now a lot of essential oils are great decongestants they're very good antibacterials antifungals so oils like eucalyptus peppermint are really really good when they're used in steam inhalation to clear your nasal passage and to help uh, stay away from any sort of respiratory issues okay so that's pretty much a gist of how inhaling essential oils help i hope i was able to do um, answer any questions that you have but if you want to know anything further please drop us a message below now i'm going to just talk about certain essential oils so for example let's talk about stress what are the best essential oils for stress i would definitely say lavender i would say orange petit grain uh geranium vetiver yeah i think these were the t- we'll just talk about the top 5 cuz a lot of essential oils help with stress okay um then we talk about anxiety for somebody who has a lot of anxiety a uh, lot of nervous energy uh, panic attacks so lang lang marjoram vetiver lavender again cuz lavender is pretty much good for everything i would say these four and frankincense okay so it makes it five these are really really good for that if you were to talk about somebody who is dealing with grief i would say cypress and frankincense are really really helpful they basically comfort them so if you were to think of that maybe even a few spice oils would help um let's talk about focus if you are looking to focus um essential oils like rosemary peppermint eucalyptus nutmeg cinnamon leaf are really really helpful and invigorating so that all of your attention is channeled in the right direction right and then um essential oils are also really good for creativity so it's usually citrus essential oils orange petit grain grapefruit bergamot they're really good for helping you channel all of that beautiful creative energy inside of you um when you're taking on this journey of aromatherapy i think the most important thing um to have is awareness okay so when you feel any of this coming on to you feeling slightly more blue than usual you're seeing a family member dip uh you're seeing a friend dip the idea is to stay slightly above the game play the game all right make a blend for yourself make a blend for your family member you could either diffuse it around them you could make a small roll on like this one you could make a massage oil give them a small foot massage give them a head massage you see um your sister who is working from home and has chuck loads of stress because we've been hearing a lot about that make a peppermint blend for her and apply it on her temples we're all going through a tough time right now and it's important that we come back truly to who we are and help deal with all of this emotional confusion that we're all going through and we should know that we're all in this together um thank you so much for listening to me uh and yeah uh, i hope you've been enjoying these videos i'll be back next week and we will talk about application and absorption of essential oils